I'm John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and we're here at the 2023 ISOA show in the first tactical booth with Dan. And Dan's going to talk to us a little bit about first tactical uniforms and what makes them different than some of the other uniforms that are out there. Dan? I appreciate it. My name is Dan Eggers with First Tactical. Uh, there's one of the things that I like to tell people about our fabric is that it's, it's kind of unique in the market, and there's four attributes about it. Number one is it is an east west stretch. That's really important because as the day goes on, you don't want your fabric coming down to your boot and also the, the our pocket structure is is good because then it doesn't bow out and look like mc hammer type mm -hmm. pants uh the second thing is we have a teflon coating on the outside not the inside so uh that's good in the environments raining or you get into any kind of uh spills or anything like that it bounces off the fabric it doesn't soak right in the inside of the fabric is a moisture wicking fabric so it's very comfortable to wear uh this is a 6535 micro rib stop so it's 65 poly 35 cotton and it's a micro rib stop so it's smaller so um you don't see the squares like a plaid material from across the room okay yeah it's also uh holds color better if, just for an example like you're building a bridge or a driveway you have more rebar the more rebar you have the more it's going to hold color and it's going to be strong so that's okay. that's that's really important and then the last thing is our double dye process so we take the collie and cotton, fiber, cotton fibers and we, uh, we dye them, and then we make the product, and then we dye them again. Okay. So that gives it a, a uh, richer feel and a longer lasting feel and a stronger feel. And we feel like it'll take care of you. This wash deck right here, which uh, shows zero washes to 50 washes, you're going to get a little fading on the outside, but it's a very strong fabric that we is the core of our product. Well, nobody hates uh, more than investing a lot of money in, in getting patches and embroidery and right. that on a uniform, only getting a year out of it, and then it's it's so faded, you yeah. know, it looks like snow camo. So, <laughs> right. so right. yeah, the being able to hold on to that color for longer is definitely yeah. a, a huge deal. It's something we take pride in, and what, what our designers have created is something that's going to be comfortable to wear but efficient to use on when you're getting deployed. So um, we do anything from a tactical pant to a traditional uh, duty pant, and then we have our SWAT uniforms as well as boots, bags, pouches. Um, you go to firsttactical.com and check it out, and um, we look forward to hearing from anyone that wants to take a look at it. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Dan. Uh, thanks for your time.